YouTubers, it's me, Mike Martins. Good morning. Hope everyone's having a fine dandy day. I'm on my way to open my shop, and I want to talk about the Mueller report. It's finally come back. It's been out for I don't know a couple of days. They already knew. Um, what's her? That's Pelosi or whatever the hell that lady's name. The skeleton there. She was already hinting that, oh, we're not going to be impeaching the president and this and that a week or two before because the Mueller report was leaked. Well, it had to be leaked. And that's what, you know, we, we, we're we not going to try and hurt the president this and that. Playing the part that, yeah, you know, we, we kind of went too far on this. But they already knew from the Mueller report there was no Russian collusion and meddling with the elections. What an absolute disaster. I already knew a lot of people were messaging Mike. Whoa, you're not talking much about Trump. I guess I guess you, you know, you 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 heard about the Russian collusion, so you're not supporting that. I'm like, I I didn't talk about the Russian collusion thing because I knew it was garbage. I I knew there was no Russian meddling. We discussed this on Mike in the Night. By the way, I'm doing it tonight. It's Saturday night. Mike in the Night. I'm going to be going live on the main channel. Yeah, the whole Russian collusion thing is is. Uh, I already knew it was a farce from the start. I already knew it wasn't real. I already knew the second I that that who was um, reporting on it and talking about it. I already knew it was just something they threw out there to try and slow things down, slow down government, spend millions of American tax dollars on a bunch of garbage, billion not billions, but lots of money on investigations and blah blah blah. To only find out Hillary Clinton was the one who colluded with the Russians with the uranium deal. But it's really, really sad. Really sad. And that's why, you know, I know that, uh, 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 you know, we're starting to see that Donald Trump's becoming more and more of a shill for the for Big Brother and for the uh, the higher ups. We're trying to we're starting to see that unravel a bit. You know what I'm saying? That he's making choices that he, you know that he wouldn't have never made, you know, but, but he did say no to carpet tax, he did say no to a lot of things, he rewrit, he re he wrote, rewritten NAFTA in favor of his own people, so, I mean, he's not that bad, you know, like, him getting out of the TPP and all that garbage was really good for the Americans, that was just gonna tax the hell out of Americans and get rid of more jobs, but, uh, you know, he is a jobs president. He is working hard to bring unemployment down uh, even lower. Um, what else? Yeah, so this whole Russian collusion thing was a bunch of garbage. And that Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi, like, yeah, you know, this and that just before. And they got Rachel, what's her name? Rachel Madcow over there. Oh, you know, and this. That and then, then all the CNN reporting about you know the Russians and this and that and then why what I I would believe it if 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 Trump was colluding with let's say the Chinese or or the secret uh, state or some crap like that but the Russians that's like what the Cold War all over again give me a break last time I checked I thought Russia was our ally. Holy smokes! Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What a waste of taxpayer dollars. I think every taxpayer should get like $3 refund or $3 in the mail for wasting their money. Everybody should get a $3 check in the mail for, for this, this app. Every American should get for the stupidity of time wasting. It's like they should have put me there. Okay, Mike, is he here? No, he's not. But, but sir, you didn't even investigate. Don't need to, I already know. Why? Because I have a gut, and my gut's telling me this. Oh, okay. All right, then we'll, we'll let it go. Then that's it, we would have saved hundreds of millions of dollars in this investigating this whole Russian scandal that's not real. Yep, this whole Russian scandal that isn't even real. Oh, yeah. Very interesting to see where things are headed. What a waste! They could have spent that on NASA. Well, NASA's fake, too. Okay, they could have spent that on, on, on something. They could have been on Mars by now. 
This whole Russian collusion thing's been going on for two years. They We could have colonize a piece of Mars. But you know what? Why are we going to colonize Mars for? What? So in 100 years from now, we could fight over it? And we could have uh, 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 gender fluidity, fluidity or whatever you call it on Mars? Yeah, no. Forget it. Better off staying here on Earth and keeping our mouths shut here than going out there and causing more trouble to the rest of the universe. That's probably why we haven't colonized anything. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below with this whole Russian collusion thing. How does that make you feel? I'd like to know. Sorry, guys. I'm just backing up nice, nice here in front of the shop. I got a nice spot in front of my shop today. Usually, I got people park in front of my shop and uh, go to the gym. And I can't park in front of the bike store because it's going to ask me to move my, move my vehicle, even though it's public parking. Anyways, comment below. Russian collusion. What do you think? Thanks for watching.